Uh -huh. Happy is here. Good morning. I had to open the curtains to bring some light in, but it is so snowy out there. Oh my gosh. Anyways, uh, it is actually the day before my surgery and I wanted to, it is the day before my surgery and I wanted to talk quickly about uh, just not even just my feelings because I have different feelings now that it's actually happening. But this morning I've been reading up a lot of stuff and just reading information on the surgery so I can help her prepare myself. <clears throat> and um, one of the things that I heard about was the bloating that after, after some people said that they had bloating after, even though it's not as invasive because I'm having a laparoscopic surgery, they open up, they blow, I think they blow up your tummy like a bit so they can work, um, what work, I don't know, well inside you, that makes any sense. Aaron's actually had his, um, Aaron's had his, not his gallbladder, what is it? Oh my gosh. It's his appendix. Oh my gosh. His appendix removed and he had the same kind of procedure where they had to blow up your tummy and stuff and he was okay. But I've read um, people saying that they, I've read stories of people saying that they felt they came home and they were really bloated. So I'm trying to avoid that because I am lactose intolerant and I'm pretty sensitive to things like um, beans and broccoli and eggs yes i know i am very sensitive to that kind of stuff and um it is one of those things where you eat it out eat it th through one end and it doesn't end well out the other and so yes a little too much information tmi i apologize but i'm just trying to be candid and so with that i know this of myself so i'm following like this lady's who she's a she does or she created a youtube video talking about her tuber reversal journey and she said that her doctor informed her to just try to eat green leafy vegetables and whatnot the day before her surgery that way um it will kind of help with just the, you know, not just her digestive system, but she won't be as bloated and won't feel so uncomfortable. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Mine isn't exactly, I guess I am eating a, a bit of green leafy. I'm not eating the exact vegetables, but what I'm doing is I'm making myself a protein shake and I'm using this, the Vega One um, all in one natural shake. So that's what I'm using. And I'm, I already have my protein shake over here going and all I have, okay, I hear you stove. <laughs> I have waffles in there. So that's the only thing I'm going to have like waffles, waffles, because they, they're Belgium waffles and they are um, very high in fiber. So I'm going to have those and I'm trying to have it earlier in the morning because I'm not really planning on eating a lot of solids like that. And I'm going to be very careful. And also, we have a cutoff period time where you're not allowed to eat at midnight, uh, past midnight. Or For mine, it might be 10 o'clock because my surgery is at 10. Or, yeah, I think it's like you can't eat past midnight or something like that, eat for like 12 hours. So um, I'm not going to. Anyways, I'm just adding some chia, chia, what do you call it? Chia seeds in my protein. I think that's actually enough. I don't want to add any more. And I'm just making the green smoothie. I'm using PC, uh, PC, what do you call it? Strawberry, strawberry, like, um, fruit mix for, for, for smoothies. And I'm also using, I don't know, I just had a regular banana. Now I do, I think I'm going to put half an avocado in there. I have, I actually have avocado in the freezer, but I figured if I have real ones, I might as well use them, I think, or should I keep them around? How ripe are they getting? Yeah, I feel like they're getting ripe, so I should probably use them up. 
you guys know how avocados are they go bad they start going bad really fast if you don't use them up so um maybe i'll find a minute or two to sit down and talk to you guys more after this <laughs> it is uh surgery day okay put it down here Youth. These guys just came back from youth. They've been gone all day because I had my surgery and was um, away. And then I returned home and I've been resting. Yeah, they check got it out. Early got Christmas gifts from mugs from their Bella. Friends. <laughs> that's awesome. Did you guys say thank you to her? Definitely. She that's, was so nice. That's very sweet. Even if at the beginning we did have a big tickle fight, maybe we did gang up on her. <laughs> Honey, here, do you it's want all in good fun, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> you, guys you guys had a great day all yeah, day? Yeah, it was awesome. We played bingo. Even though I didn't Here's win. Gonna yeah, yeah, sure shout out to our friends. They are amazing. <laughs> Definitely. watching our kiddos. Oh my goodness. Yes, amazing. So thankful. That was Thank awesome. We love you guys. And ignore my voice because my voice kind of hurts because they had a tube down my throat during Have surgery. So they <laughs> they gave us a delicious dinner. They did. Yes, they did. Downstairs. Downstairs. No way. Downstairs. I know. Oh my gosh. And garlic bread. Wow. I think you can see it. Oh my goodness, that's <laughs> and oh, that's so salad amazing. And oh, we're so garlic blessed. Garlic bread. We are so blessed, yeah. guys. Nice we're blown away. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Sharbar, where are you? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, babe. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? You gotta change my gauze for me since it's sleeping. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm coming. Don't climb around. Come on. Okay, I gotta help mommy. I always put it in the ditch right now. Really? Yeah. I hit like a really deep pothole. Mommy, open your stomach. Yeah, be careful. Hi guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe.